Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on sharing into a given ratio. Whenever sharing an amount according to a ratio, it's important to remember two simple things. Firstly, make sure you know which parts of the ratio are equivalent to which amount. Secondly, remember the unitary method, where we start by finding the value of a single unit and then multiply the single unit value. So let's have a look at a question so we can see how we can answer any type of exam question where a quantity is shared by a given ratio. In this question, Ali and Ben share £20 in the ratio of 2 to 3. We're asked to calculate how much does each person receive. Now we know Ali gets two parts and Ben gets three parts. So we have a total of five parts. Now we need to identify what is the total parts equivalent to. Well, we know five parts is equivalent to the 20 pounds. So, using the unitary method, we're going to divide by five to give us one part. We do the same to the 20 pounds, so therefore we have 20 divided by five, which is four pounds. So this means we know four pounds is equivalent to one part. You can see how our 20 pound has been split equally into five parts, where each part is four pounds. Now remember in the question it stated Ali receives two parts and Ben receives three parts. We know one part is equivalent to four pounds. So if Ali gets two parts, therefore it's two times our four pounds, which is eight pounds. If Ben receives three parts, and we know one part is equivalent to four pounds, therefore three times four pounds is our 12 pounds. Ratio questions are so helpful because we can always check our answer. If you add the eight pound and the 12 pound, it will give our total of 20 pounds. This is a really good check, and it's easily done when sharing into a given ratio. Now let's look at a slightly different question, but still requiring us to share given a ratio. In this question it states, Frank, Mary and Seth shared some sweets in the ratio of 4 to 5 to 7. Seth got 18 more sweets than Frank. We need to work out the total number of sweets they shared. Firstly, we need to write out the ratio so we know which person is represented by which parts. Here you can see I've written Frank to Mary to Seth in the ratio 4 to 5 to 7. Given that Seth gets 18 more sweets than Frank, we know the quantity, but now we need to identify the equivalent parts. Well, the difference in parts between Frank and Seth is 7 subtract 4, which equals 3. So therefore we know 18 sweets is 3 parts because Seth gets 18 more sweets than Frank, and we know Seth gets three more parts than Frank. So we've written our quantity equivalent to parts. Now, using the unitary method, we're going to identify one part by dividing by three. So therefore, we get one part is equivalent to six sweets. Now, we can work out how many sweets each person receives. Given that Frank receives four parts and one part is six sweets, it's simply four multiplied by six, giving 24 sweets for Frank. Given Mary has five parts and one part is equivalent to six sweets, it's five times six sweets, giving Mary 30 sweets. Lastly, Seth receives seven parts. So one part is equivalent to six sweets, 7 times 6 is 42. Adding all of these sweets, we have a total of 96 sweets. Remember, we can always check by referring back to the question. The question stated, Seth gets 18 more sweets than Frank. So let's check. Well, Frank receives 24 sweets and Seth receives 42 sweets. We have a difference of 18 sweets. So yes, we're right, 
And remember, checking your answers is easily done when sharing into a given ratio. Now let's look at a different sharing into a given ratio question, but we'll still continue using these two points, identifying the parts and its equivalent quantity and the unitary method. In this question it states, Neil, Craig and Keith are cousins. Their ages are in the ratio of 17 to 14 to 9. Craig is 42 years old. How old are Neil and Keith? Firstly, let's list our ratios. We have Neil to Craig to Keith in the ratio of 17 to 14 to 9. The question states that Craig is 42 years old, so we have the quantity, but now we need to write the equivalent parts. Given that we know Craig has 14 parts, this means we know 42 years is equal to 14 parts. Using our unitary method, we simply divide by 14 to give us one part, so that means we know one part is equivalent to three years. The question wants us to work out how old Neil and Keith are. Given that Neil has 17 parts, it's simply 17 multiplied by 3, so Neil is 51 years old. Given that Keith has 9 parts, it's simply 9 times the 3 years, so he's 27 years old. The great thing about ratio is the ability to check. So let's check with Craig. We know Craig has 14 parts. If one part is 3 years, 14 times 3 is 42 years old. So therefore, we're right, because the question stated Craig was 42 years of age. So we've checked our answer with the question. Now let's have a look at a slightly more complicated question. You may need to refer back to a couple of our ratio videos for a bit of extra support. In this question it states, on a farm, the number of cows to the number of sheep is in the ratio of 6 to 5. The number of sheep to the number of pigs is in the ratio of 2 to 1. But the total number of cows, sheep and pigs is 189 and we're asked to work out how many sheep are on the farm. Firstly, let's write the ratios of cows to sheep as 6 to 5. Then, write the ratio of sheep to pigs as 2 to 1. You'll notice sheep is in both ratios, but they're not comparable. So if we look at the lowest common multiple of 5 and 2, we can make sheep 10 parts for each ratio. So simply multiplying the ratio of 6 to 5 by 2, we have 12 to 10. And multiplying the ratio of 2 to 1 by 5, we have 10 to 5. Now we have both of the sheep parts the same. So we can write down the ratio of cows to sheep to pigs as a single ratio, which is 12 to 10 to 5. From here, we can identify a quantity and its equivalent parts. Given we know the total number of cows to sheep to pigs is 189, and we know the total parts is 12 plus 10 plus 5, therefore we know 189 animals is equivalent to 27 parts. Using the unitary method, we simply divide by 27 to give us one part, is equivalent to seven animals. Given the question wants us to find how many sheep there are, there are ten parts, so one part is equivalent to seven animals, so therefore ten times seven is seventy sheep. The great thing about this is we can always check our answers. Twelve multiplied by the seven, add ten multiplied by the seven, add five multiplied by the seven, will give us a total of 189. So we know we've got the answer correct. So in summary, when sharing into a given ratio, simply remember two things. Identify the quantity and its equivalent parts, and apply the unitary method, where you find one part and multiply accordingly. The great thing about ratio is how you can check your answers by referring back to the question. 
If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.